I spoke with all three candidates today about the top issues facing this city. They each pointed to the city budget and community pride as areas they would focus on if elected. Two of the candidates for Dayton Mayor Jeffrey Mims and Gary Leitzel pointed to the economy as the city's biggest challenge. The best way to manage the, the job losses and the individuals who are working at home now and the challenging uh, amount of dollars that we will potentially lose because of the income tax shortfall. The budget because of the stay at home people or the work from home people uh, and if the laws change regarding how you pay your income taxes, that could have a devastating effect on the city. Rennes Bauer says he's knocked on thousands of doors and people are telling him the biggest issue is abandoned homes. It pulls down everybody's property value. It, draw, it, it, it attracts drug addicts. It depresses the entire neighborhood. And it's very hard to have pride in your neighborhood when you have abandoned homes. Leitzel says the city could look better to feel better as people are complaining to him about roads, trash, and illegal dumping. But it, it wouldn't be that complicated to get that fixed. I mean, it's a matter of injecting pride in the community again and uh, support the city supporting community members. Bowers wants to attract new businesses to Dayton and cut regulation he says is keeping them from thriving. He says there's a lot of brain power in Dayton. Let's bring them together. Let's pick their brains. Let's turn them loose in their areas of expertise and have them tell us how we can grow the business community. And Mim says the key to his success will be communication, making sure business owners and leaders know how they can help to make the city stronger. Help them know that we're doing the best we can in each and every one of these circumstances and be open to ideas that we may get from them that's going to help us move in the right direction. And the special election is this coming Tuesday. We'll have team coverage of all the results here on your local election headquarters. The top two vote getters in this race will move on to November's general election. Adam Rye, 5 on 2. All right, Adam, thanks.